Hi guys and welcome to our channel Cooking Like Antonio. Today we're going to be making square spaghetti with garlic and anchovies. And for those of you who don't know, this channel is a tribute to the late Antonio Carluccio, um, who was also known as the godfather of Italian cooking. After watching several of his videos, we definitely were inspired by him uh, and we just, we just love the guy. So before we start, we are going to go over the ingredients for this recipe. So we will be needing two whole garlic bulbs, 300 milliliters of regular full cream milk, which we have right here, 16 anchovy fillets. Well, the anchovy fillets, the recipe does state, if they are salted, to soak them in water beforehand. So we will be doing that. We also have three peppers, just regular bell peppers, red and yellow. And then we will also need 450 grams of square spaghetti. We have never found square spaghetti around here. The recipe does say that we can substitute regular spaghetti, so that's what we will be doing. And then lastly, we will need three ounces or 75 grams of butter. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first, we are going to soak our anchovies. So we're just going to put a little bit of water in there. Now, the recipe does say when you choose your anchovies, just to look for any larger bones and remove those. I did find a couple, really, they're not many. So we'll leave that to soak for about 30 minutes while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. Um, so next, we will be adding the milk to the pot milk in the pot okay and then we will be adding the garlic cloves so we were a little apprehensive about two whole bulbs of garlic that's a lot of garlic but we'll see how it turns out <laughs> that is a lot of garlic to be exact that is 35 cloves of garlic so that's going to go onto our burner and we're going to gently cook that for 30 minutes as well or until the garlic becomes soft and then we are going to roast the peppers so we have our broiler going in our oven we have half the peppers and remove the seeds. And that's just going to go under, under the broiler until the skin turns black. And if you like the smell of garlic, you came to the right place. <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't know about this recipe. And if, if we don't like it, we'll be honest because um, anchovies is not really our thing. And we love garlic, but that's... A lot of garlic. A lot of garlic. Okay, so we'll be doing that and then we'll be right back. Okay, so um, our peppers have roasted. Um, they took about as long as it took for the milk to boil. So they are ready to be taken out from under the broiler. Those are our peppers. Okay, so as you can see, the skin has turned black. Um, we're going to let that cool down just a little bit before we try to remove the skin. So we will be setting that aside for a moment. And then next we're we going to take the milk off of the burner. So a lot of the milk has evaporated and the garlic is nice and soft. That had a really good, um, delicious garlic fragrance while it was cooking. I'm still apprehensive about the amount of garlic that we've been using, but you know, Antonio does say in the introduction to this recipe that he's very proud of this recipe. So we are going to just trust him on this one. Okay, so we are going to Drain the water off of the anchovies. Okay. And then the anchovies are going to be stirred into the milk and the garlic mixture until, I guess, it dissolves. So while we're doing that, we do have our pot of pasta water um, that we are bringing to a boil. Okay, so we have peeled the peppers, which actually was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And then we went ahead and sliced them into thin slices. And I have to say, they smelled fantastic while they were roasting. They did. Mm -hmm. um, so next we are going to turn our burner onto a low heat, very low heat. We just want to heat, we don't want to cook. Then we are going to strain the milk and garlic mixture. So we'll see how that goes. It's, it's fairly on the thicker side. It 
That's about as much liquid as I'm going to get out of there for now. Okay, and then we will add the butter and just heat it enough for the butter to melt. So a lot of the garlic actually remain behind. Okay, so we're just going to gently heat that until the butter has melted. It is on very low heat. And we have our pasta cooking. So as you can see, the, you know, the anchovies and the garlic is actually left behind from the sauce, so you don't actually eat that. But the sauce smells absolutely fantastic. Okay, we're going to go ahead, our pasta is cooked, and we're going to go ahead and add that to the sauce now. A little extra pasta water probably isn't a bad thing. And then the recipe doesn't say to add any additional salt or pepper to this one. Um, I'm assuming a lot of the saltiness is coming from the anchovy. So I'm going to mix that together a little bit. Maybe even add just a touch more po uh, pasta to this. Get the whole lot in there anyway. That looks you can good. definitely uh, smell the anchovy and you can smell the garlic. Mm, it smells very nice together. Mm. Yeah, it is a very strong garlic smell, mm. but in a good way. Okay, then once you have that mixed, we are going to go ahead, plate it up, top it with the warm peppers. Wow. And, yeah, mm. and then we'll go ahead and do the taste test. Mamma mia! Okay, we are ready to taste our pasta with the 35 cloves of garlic. You want to go ahead? We'll go ahead. Um, it smells fantastic. It looks fantastic. Yeah, the colors we are really will... pretty. We'll take very, a look and or take a taste rather and see what we think. It's very appealing with the different colors of the peppers and mm. well, what do you think? Mm. It is absolutely fantastic. Antonio definitely had a right to be proud of this. Mm. 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 Oh wow. Those flavors are amazing. Mm. It, it works really good. Um, yeah, this is uh, so, this is one of Antonio's favorites. Something he said he was proud of, and I can exactly see why. Mm. This is a fantastic, um, fantastic dish. The mm. sweetness of the peppers with the saltiness of the anchovies mm. that just really works. Mm. So, were we wrong to doubt him? Mm. I kind of doubted it when I saw this uh, <laughs> saw his video, but he knew what he was doing. His video? And when I saw his recipe, but... Mm. Yep. So, guys, definitely try this at home. This is truly delicious. And if you do, let us know in the comments down below what you think. And like Dina said, we are saying goodbye. I'd say goodbye, but I'm too busy eating. <laughs> mm. Mm. Fantastic.